Hey Capricorn, welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you Capricorn. I hope you are okay. I hope you're well. This reading for today Capricorn is for the month of June. Okay, this is a love connection reading for the beautiful Capricorn friends out there. All right, please universal energy. What is the message for Capricorn? What is the love connection reading for Capricorn friends, please? Okay. So let's start your reading, Capricorn. Let's get your card moving out from this deck. Okay. Before I start relaying the message, I want to thank you guys for your likes, for your subscribe, for your support to my channel. And um, for those guest viewers, if, if you haven't clicked subscribe, if you haven't clicked the bell, please, I'd suggest to do it now. Um, if you click subscribe, if you click the bell, it will allow me give me a permission to tap into your energy and who knows one day i will be spot on to your situation and i will be able to relay the most important message for you okay so click the bell click subscribe and let's go into your reading okay so this is for the month of june all right so you started off with the eight of wands in reverse um, so the beginning of the month for you, Capricorn, seems to be um, seems to be slow. Um, maybe you think that this person or this love situation it wouldn't work, or there's a block. If you are being encouraged to follow up or to send some message of follow up, um, please do so because I think your person is waiting for you. For some of you. The person from the past, um, it is delay. The person from the past, someone around you that's linked to you romantically, there's block, there's delay. Um, I pick up an ex another energy with a page of wands. So, you know, there's a new beginning for you, Capricorn. There's an opportunity for you to meet someone, to be in connection with someone, and that could um, blossom into love or romantic. And I also see... A blockages or delay for the first week of June for you and your previous love interest person okay so you've got um, someone in the past energetically overlapping to someone um, someone who you will meet first two weeks of June okay um, for some of you this page of wands this could be the same person that gave you that blockages that delay that you were interested with you for some of you guys you didn't expect that this person would call or text because it's been a while eight days eight weeks eight months hopefully it's not eight years but um unexpectedly it's a good news that this person is coming back um the hangman is facing off the page of one so if you are in this situation where you feel so excited that finally this person resurfaced or um, you've got love around you first two weeks of June. Um, the hangman is, you know, the hangman is reminding you don't to get excited. Don't like put some balance on it. You know, I take because I know it's such a nice feeling when your love person remember you or when there's a new person who's giving you an interest when it comes to love and romantic. That's really like a page of one's energy, flirty, energetic, and it's great. It's, it's a nice feeling to be remembered. It's a nice feeling that someone is flirting on you and connecting you, connecting with you in a passionate level. That's really great, most especially if you're a Capricorn. It excites you to meet someone who is passionate, okay? Because you're very grounded, and so it's kind of, it's, it's a very, this is like entertaining, you know, the way this person calls you or texts you or this new person, it is entertaining. It is something that ignites you. It wakes you up. You're very earth, you know, it, it shakes the ground of your mind, spirit, and soul. So this is great news, good connection. Because it's so good, you might be too excited or too excited and tense at the same time so the hangman in here is reminding you to slow down take a deep breath you know enjoy the moment don't think too far of what is in front of you don't don't imagine too much of a future of it just enjoy the moment don't put too much high expectation of it because you are creating your own 
you know, could be disappointment. You might break your own heart if you put too much pressure or, you know, something too good, it, it, it needs to be regulated like the hangman, okay? Think before you act and balance your excitement. Don't be so obvious that you like them. I'm getting also that message. And from mid part of Ju June, you've got the, um, the moon card. You could be dealing with a cancer. And this is June month. Um, this person is definitely into you. Um, but there is surrounding worries and concern around the both of you. Um, I see and I pick up an on and off energy in here. Because this is on, sorry, off, on, off. And then this is where, if you're dealing with someone in the past, this is where you're again at the same loop of, I'm confused, at the same loop or at the same repetitive cycle where, what are we? We've shared something, but we've, we've, we're connected, but I feel like we're divided. That's feeling of unknown, um, not having that, um, not having that security that you will level up into exclusivity because this is something that you like so this is something or this is a person that you want to own okay so page of sources here this is the center of the reading when you are starting to manifest fear or concern brush that off kill that vibe you know kill the vibe of um, expectation um, kill the vibe of being fearsome worrisome because on top of the page of swords the page of wands go with the flow enjoy and balance regulate what you can give and what you can accept because if you give more and you're receiving less that is where you get the moon card so stay balanced two of pentacles um, prioritize yourself your workload over love until such point that you are exclusive okay this is a new beginning for some of you or this is a person from the past but always always you are reminded to prioritize yourself if you're giving too much that's where you will produce the moon card where i'm acting like we're exclusive but actually we are not so kill that thought of expectation okay because you're manifesting i don't know fear or you're you're manifesting your own hurt and pain all right at the end of the month of June, you've got Ace of Pentacles. So if you manage to discipline yourself in terms of your hope, expectation, and you know, um, turning off that frustration towards something that you want so bad, but you can't have it because it needs it needs time. It takes time to process, or it simply is, you know, your person isn't available yet or could not match your energy, something like that. Um, if you manage to discipline your thoughts, your feelings, you've got a brand new beginning, okay? A brand new beginning. There's a, there's a newness. Even though this is a, a past person, if you manage to discipline and, you know, kind of equality and equate, okay, this is what I can give you right now because this is what you're giving me. Just a fine tuning, a, a, a proper balance of your emotions, your feelings, and your effort, then this is where you will be introduced to the Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning between the two of you, a new energy, okay? Um, this is also relating to a new person, that this person who you will be meeting, connecting, by the end of June, this is confirmed that you will begin something beautiful, something of, um, something of um, worth investment, Seven of Pentacles, although there is an attachment of worry, with the seven of pentacles but um you can't really ignore this because you've got a six of one so seven of pentacles you you're going to begin something you're having a new cycle with someone whether it's someone of whether it's someone from the past or someone new um there is this confidence that the ace of pentacles will proceed at the end of june month you have some worries and concern um weigh things out again you are reminded to be balanced of what you give so that you can expect of what is the right amount you should receive on a particular timeline on this person or on the level of what you have you know because you might be expecting you should get married where in fact you just met a month ago you know so really really have um a logical balance of effort emotions and passion okay and then you know seven of pentacles there's hesitation but this ace of pentacles i feel like it's gonna sweep your feet and here you go six of wands you go out in a dating something is about to be confirmed between the two of you 
there's a success waiting for you at the end of June. This is something that you've been wanting for someone to confirm. This is something that you could share with your friends. This is victory. You feel victorious about getting someone to say yes, getting someone to finally speak out the truth, or it could be as simple as going out on a date with this person, okay? The Six of Wands, this is out and about, um, walking, feeling proud of, now you've got a person, now you've got a date. Or it could be a feeling of you're dating this person again back from scratch, okay? There's something victorious and successful that's taking place at the end of June for you. So this is a good news. This is a win for you, okay? So keep the momentum, keep the balance momentum. Don't expect too much. Go with the flow and have fun. At the end of the day, love is about, um, love is easy. Just love, okay? and um yeah sim simplify things and um you'll you'll win okay so thank you capricorn thanks for tuning in um the signs that i'm getting in here capricorn taurus virgo cancer gemini libra aquarius aries leo sagittarius a lot of passion at beginning so take it easy deep uh, you know um deep deep breath whenever you feel like so excited to to regulate your excitement and avoid epic failure or overreacting um i'm being advised to remind you to breathe deep you know slow down okay so thanks guys i hope i get a like i go for, i hope i get a subscribe and i'll see you soon again bye bye